Hi everyone, this is Maddie and welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. Today, I am going to be talking about my aligners and how it's going, but first, before I do that, make sure to like this video if you end up enjoying it. Comment whatever you want to comment, it's really up to you. And then also make sure to subscribe for more amazing content by me. And turn on that bell to know when I post. It's every Thursday, but just in case if you forget, you might want to turn that on. And also make sure to follow my two Instagrams. My beauty one where I post all of my makeup looks is Modified Makeup by Mad. And then also my average everyday one, I put whatever on there is Madeline McBride underscore. So I was going to make a video about my liners, like part two, I guess, um, when I got them, but I got them on a day where I was like extremely busy. So um, yeah, I just had to put them in and I was like, shit, I can't really make a video, but now I can. I'm actually going to be going on to my second week of aligners and we're gonna do that together. But first I'll kind of do like an unboxing again. I put everything back in the box. So if you guys are also using this brand, you can see what's in it and what's going on. So the brand that I'm using is Bite. Um, this is what the uh, box looks like for when you finally get your aligners and also some other stuff with it. So when you open up, there's two other boxes in here. There's one with all of my aligners in them and it just pulls out like this. And then as you can see, I have one for each week. I've already opened the first, um, uh, the first week, which is what I have in right now in my little stinky mouth. And then in a bit here, I've had this one in for a week. You wear each one for a week. I'm about to throw in the second week. So we're gonna leave this out and just put that right over there. And then you also get some other stuff that you're gonna need to do this. There's another box with accessories. So I'm gonna open this up. And first you get this um, Bright Bite, which is, um, it whitens your teeth and it also cleans your liners. So you put this in whenever you're about to go put your liners back in. You pump this inside the tray. I'll show you how that works in a little bit. Um, your retainer, which also has a nail file in it. Um, I call it a nail file because that's what it looks like, but you use it to file down any sharp edges, which is extremely helpful. I'll get to that in a second. And then also it has a mirror and then an aligner remover. It like, helps like remove it out of your mouth. It's never worked for me. I just use my nails, but you know, maybe it'll work for someone else. And then also you have the Hyperbite, which is the teeth vibrator that I talked about in the last video. Um, and pretty much this is what makes this brand so quick is um, you have to vibrate your teeth for five minutes a day. This is it. Stick it in your mouth, press the button, it turns off automatically after five minutes. The only thing I really have to say about this is it takes fucking forever to charge. So as soon as you get your package in, first thing you should do is plug this in. It comes with a charge. It doesn't have like a charging block, but I'm sure you have one laying around. Pretty annoying and tedious. It takes a while for that to charge. And yeah, that's pretty much everything it gives you. So now I'm gonna kind of talk about my experience with my first week of putting them in. Um, I'm someone who's never had braces. I've never had anything like that. Um, so I was a little anxious, but first you're gonna have to brush your teeth, floss, mouthwash, all that fun stuff, and then you're gonna pump this in each of the trays and pop it into your teeth. And at first, the first thing I noticed is my teeth felt very tickly, like tingly, tickly. It was kind of overwhelming. When I would use the Hyperbite, it kind of helps with pain. I know they said it can help with pain too, but it mainly just makes it so your teeth move a little quicker. The second, third, and I think fourth day, I was in so much fucking pain. Like when I say a lot of pain, I mean like I was in fucking pain. So like it is gonna fuck you up for a little bit. Like it felt like I got punched in the mouth like 5,000 times, but I'm pretty used to it now. At first it's hard to take it out because your teeth hurt so bad. It's kind of hard to eat because your teeth all feel kind of like, I want to say it feels like all your teeth are loose. They just all hurt pretty bad. But now I'm pretty used to this one like I should be and now it's time for me to move on to the second one. So yeah, get ready for a world of pain. I was kind of downplaying it. I didn't think it was going to be that bad. Um, and it is. Just a quick warning for all you guys out there. Um, it's not going to be a walk in the park. I had a really hard time with it. Um, sucking on ice cubes helps a lot. And then also taking ibuprofen. Um, it helped a little bit, but definitely just like sucking on ice is the main thing I can think of that helped me get through it. Now we're going to move on to week two. I'm a little anxious. 
but we'll see. So I've already brushed my teeth, I already did mouthwash and I flossed, and I just have the first set of aligners in, but now we are going to take out step two. So you're supposed to keep all of your aligners just in case if any of them break and you need them, so yeah, don't throw them away when you're done using them. So how I take them out is, like I said, that thing that helps pry them out that comes in your retainer, I personally don't think it works. Yeah, I just use my nails, but first before I do that, I actually am going to take this file out of the retainer and file down my second week. I noticed my lips were fine. My lips weren't giving me a problem. It was my tongue, like the inside of the aligners were really sharp and it was just fucking up my tongue, dude. Like that shit was hurting so bad. I'm going to take the second week out of this little package. And it also comes with like a little like, you know, note telling you, uh, this one says, the only one thing we say to crooked teeth is not today, which I think is frankly pretty fucking adorable. Anyways, I digress. We're gonna look at the inside of these and I'm just gonna like file them down real quick. So after I filed those down, how I take them out is I go all the way to the back of molars. They say you start with the sides, but if you start like up here, it's going to be really hard to take it out. So go all the way to your back molar and I start the side usually and pop it up. There you go. Um, as you can see, not really anything has changed a lot. The only thing I notice is my gum line is kind of pushed up a little higher. I think they're just getting used to me wearing them. Um, and my teeth are a little tighter. Like whenever I floss, my teeth are a little more tighter for the floss to get in between them. I think it's time for me to just put this in. So I'll kind of show you how I use the Bright Bite. So I'm going to start with my top teeth. You're going to take this and you're going to pump it all in there like that and then just there we go so yeah you're gonna have some excess shit in your mouth I'm trying to think of what to say so I'm kind of getting that same tangly feeling these feel very tight again if you want them to feel more secure on your teeth what I would do for sure is definitely do the hyper bite and just vibrate the hell out of your teeth that will definitely help a lot. Oh, and when you're eating, that's another thing I can talk about. Uh, they say you only have two hours a day to have them out when you're eating. I wouldn't necessarily put yourself on a timer because for me I have anxiety that's just gonna make me feel rushed what I would do is like don't take them out when you're like going out to eat or you're like about to eat I would wait until you have food on your plate then go take them out you know what I mean if you go out to eat don't take them out before you leave bring your retainer with you wait till they bring the food out then pop them out same thing as soon as you're done eating even if everyone's still talking say excuse me quickly go brush your teeth throw them back in. Don't just like sit around, talk, you're done eating, everyone's hanging out, you know. I would just like make sure you're hyper aware of like keeping it in until the very last second and then as soon as you're done eating just go quickly put them in. Uh, just to make sure you have as much time with them as possible um, just so you're not in a lot of pain. But I think that's pretty much the only things I can say right now. I'm gonna make an update when I'm about halfway through so if I have to do this in 19 weeks I'm gonna do around the eight week mark. Eight nine week mark when I'm in my ninth week and I'll make another update show you guys what's going on as you can see there's not really anything too different with my teeth right now I'm only on week two you know it's gonna take your tongue some time to get used to it your tongue's gonna fucking hurt your lips might hurt everything's gonna hurt but I think once you kind of you know get them on and you're going you'll be fine but that's it for this update and I will see you guys next Thursday with a new video all right guys see ya